this question is demanding a graph between force and one by r square. So the expression for Coulomb force F equal to K Q1, Q2 magnitude. divided by R square. If the graph is between F and one by R square, Y, Coordinate will be the force and x coordinate will be one by r square. So in this equation f equal to k q1 q2 by r square if you replace f as y and 1 by r square as x the equation will change this that's our best way to understand the shape of the graph what quantity is taken along the y axis replace that as y so this will be y equal to 1 by r square is x y equal to 1 by r square is x the rest of k q1 q2 is taken as m slope so the only change is x coordinate and y coordinate is introduced. The rest all whatever left is taken as the constant value with the equation. So k, q1, q2 will be the slope is equal to y equal to mx. So slope of the graph equal to k times q1 into q2. This is indicating y proportional to x graph. That means to draw the graph The y axis will be force and the x axis will be 1 by r square. So the shape of the graph is a straight line, positive slope. Now there are two options. One option is one nano coulomb with two nano coulomb. The second one is two nano coulomb and minus three nano coulomb. So it's very clear one into two is just two. Two into three becomes six. The slope of the second one will be more compared to the first one. So if you draw two graphs, both will be straight line proportional to y proportional to x. 
but the slope will be more for the second graph. So if this is first one, and if you draw another graph, two different graphs with two different stops. So to show the difference in slope, you can see two different graphs. This will be for the pair of charge one nano coulomb with two nano coulomb. Uh, we are not really calculating the slope, just telling the second one is higher. So, three times higher compared to the first one. This is for two nano coulomb comma minus three nano. So here, higher the slope, more the force. So slope is directly proportional to KQ one Q two means proportional to the strength of the force. So this is one interpretation from the graph. The strength of force can be obtained from the slope of the graph, number one. Normally there is a convention, if the force is negative, that will be drawn in the fourth quadrant and positive in the first quadrant. Here the graph is drawn with magnitude of the force. The second option, if you draw a graph including the negative and positive part of the force, means attractive force and repulsive force. In that case, the first quadrant, you represent the force positive, that is between one nanocoulomb and two nanocoulomb. So that would be the graph here. And the second graph for two into minus three will be more slow, but in the fourth quadrant. So the graph will be like this. The angle is more indicating more stop, the angle is less indicating less stop. So this is for one nano coulomb with two nano coulomb pair charge. And this is for two nano coulomb with minus three nano coulomb charge. Here, two interpretations are possible. The nature of the force can be obtained from the slope other than the strength. So interpretation one, magnitude of the slope. is directly proportional to strength of the force. That's number one uh, interpretation. For number two interpretation, nature of the force. is given by the sign of the slope. Uh, nature of the force means attractive force. So, or repulsive force. Attractive force indicating negative slope. That's a second pair of the charge. And repulsive force is indicated by the positive slope. So that's a common convention used to represent 
forces repulsive or attractive using graph otherwise the graph just gives only the idea the <coughs> strength of the force is more or less but using the convention attractive force as negative stop and repulsive forces uh, positive slope even the nature of the force can be understood from the graph 